So in this video, I'm going to take a quick look at how to make cross-listed courses available to the students before and after the official semester start and end dates. Okay, so once I'm in my course, and this is a cross-listed course, and I can tell it's a cross-listed course because it has X list at the end of the title. So what that does is it means that all of the courses, that a number of sections have been brought into the same course. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on settings. It'll default to my course details here and you can see I set the course so that the students could have access to it on July 25th at 9 a.m. and they're going to have access to it on Jan until January 10th at 8 p.m. Now what's actually happening here, and you'll notice I say users can only participate in the course between these dates and it'll override any term settings. So if you are having your students in the course before or after the term is officially over, you want to make sure you correct that. Now the difficulty is, is because this is a cross-listed course, I have these sections up here. And when I click on the sections, you'll see I've got each of the four sections that were combined. And if you remember, the reason that we did this was to essentially allow both faculty and students to only have a single item on their dashboard. So they would only have this cross-listed course here instead of having these four individual courses. But the problem is, is that when I go into each of these, you'll see that um, it tells me right now that it runs from August 6th at 9 p.m. So what I need to do is come up here into the top right hand side, click on edit section, and just unclick that icon there that says users can only participate, and then click update section. And I'm going to need to do that for every single section. So I've done it for one here. I'm gonna click back. Let me go up and see if I've got it done for this one. So let me edit the section. I had already did it for that one, so let me go back to course settings. I'll go into this one and let me edit the section and I will turn that off again. Back to course settings again and then go into the last one here and I'm going to edit the section. And I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to update it. And now what should happen is because I have all of these four sections turned off, it will default to whatever I've set here for the cross-listed version of the course. So that was a quick look at how to make cross-listed courses available to students before and after the official semester start and end dates.